Your bank could soon start asking you about your citizenship status. And if you don't answer, you may not be able to get to your money. KCTV5 investigative reporter Emily Sinovic looked into why this is happening. Emily? Yeah, a little alarming. We heard about this happening when one of our own KCTV5 photographers told us what happened to him. He'd received a mailer claiming to be sent by Bank of America asking for personal information and citizenship information. But Josh, a Bank of America customer for 20 plus years, born an American citizen, figured it might be a scam, thinking Bank of America surely would follow up if it was legit. Well, next thing he knew, without notice, his accounts were frozen. They only freeze the accounts of people trying to flee the country or something like that. <laughs> we're not criminals. We didn't do anything wrong. That's Josh Collins, a longtime KCTV5 photographer. When he found out his card was declined and when he called Bank of America to find out why, well, they told him his account was frozen. The first question is, oh, we sent you something in the mail a few weeks ago. And I was like, well, yeah, I, I remember we got something that didn't look real. And they're like, oh, yeah, we need to know uh, if you're a citizen. And, you know, I'm born and raised in Kansas. I, like Superman said, how much more American can you get? The bank representative told Collins he'd have access to his accounts the next day. So we get up in the morning, card doesn't work again. <laughs> and so my, my wife, being the, the, the uh, patient one, uh -huh. calls Bank of America, and they're like, well, your cards have been lost or stolen. That wasn't true. So at that point, we decided to go into the actual physical bank. Uh -huh. And it took about 15 minutes, but the first question they asked me is, are you a citizen? Again. Yes, and they wanted to know if I had dual citizenship. They eventually unfroze the accounts, but not before the Collins received this email, notifying them that all of those automatic bill payment accounts were wiped out. Collins says the bank explained eventually the bank would be asking this of all of their customers. And sure enough, when I logged onto my account, there was an alert to update personal information and then another alert asking me to update my citizenship status and whether I was a dual citizen but no warning about frozen accounts. All right, so I contacted Bank of America and a media representative sent a statement which reads in part, quote, we're required by law to maintain complete accurate records for all of our customers and may periodically request information such as country of citizenship and proof of residency. This is not unique to Bank of America. This type of outreach is nothing new and the information must be up to date. To read the full statement, just go to our website at kctv5.com. Brad. Interesting. Thanks, yeah. Emily. So if this has happened to you, our investigative department wants to hear about it. Call that number on your screen or you can contact us by email.